consume it. That was a lot of watermelon to eat. Hello, Dr. Joe here. So what I've got with me here is a watermelon. Now, the glycemic index of this watermelon is 72. For comparison, the glycemic index of white bread is 73. That means white bread and watermelon are on par as far as glycemic index is concerned, right? Any food, this is the thinking, any food that has a glycemic index of 70 and above is considered high glycemic food. So, I'm gonna push the envelope in this very experiment and I'm gonna eat half of this watermelon and let's see how high my blood sugar goes. Uh, it's a bit unusual because most people we just eat a slice of watermelon or two and the slice is about two centimeters or so the first thing we're gonna do is slice it up and then uh, I'm gonna check my blood sugar before consumption and then uh, one hour later all right so um, this is half let's go let's cut it up slice and dice half of this watermelon so I'm gonna go with this half put this away um, so slice and dice in time all right yeah let's go I love my end of one experiments that uh, some people said they missed it uh, I haven't done some for a while now so uh, Let's see how this goes. of this watermelon and uh, I'm gonna go eat it now and uh, we see how high my blood sugar goes this is crazy <laughs> honestly this is crazy okay so eating time these represent half of the watermelon so uh, the first thing I need to do is make sure that uh, make sure there's no uh, watermelon fluid on my skin uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, check my blood sugar to see where we are starting from okay so um, let's test this okay So my blood sugar is four, okay? Four millimole per liter. Uh, and I'll work that for you guys in milligram per deciliter. Uh, where's my calculator? Starting point is 72 milligram per deciliter, which is four millimole per liter. Okay, so uh, it's in time then. Let me uh, go ahead and shut this off. And um, Start um, consuming. Ah.
lot of watermelon to it, okay? It's all gone, as you can see here. Um, what next? Uh, what time is it now? So it's 1.34, okay, p.m. 1.34 p.m. now, or 1.35 now. <laughs> um, so I'll be back in an hour's time to check my blood sugar to see how far I have pushed the envelope consuming half a watermelon Let's see how high my blood sugar is going to be. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So see you in, uh, in about an hour's time. So okay. the time now is 2.35 p.m. So this is one hour from when I consumed the watermelon. Half a watermelon I consumed. So let's see what my blood sugar is going to be. Okay. Time to check again. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's see. Five. Okay, five millimole per liter. So that is uh, five times eighteen. Ninety. So it rose from 72 to 90, from 4 to 5 millimole per liter, and 72 to 90 milligram per deciliter. That's how much half a watermelon uh, pushed up my blood sugar. Okay, so you would have expected my blood sugar to really hit the roof because for the most part, nobody eats half a watermelon in a sitting, but I did. Um, so this is just a modest rise in my blood sugar uh, following the consumption. So uh, the point of the matter is this. People tend to be so afraid of watermelon. Um, yes, it's got some sugar in it. Um, however, much of what is in watermelon is actually water, okay? Watermelon is 92% water, okay? And that is very, very important uh, for us to, uh, to grasp. Um, you know, people should not be afraid of consuming watermelon. Um, and you can imagine if I were active physically, that blood sugar will even be lower. Uh, yes, it will be. If, but all I did after consuming this uh, half the watermelon, all I did was go sit down uh, for the next hour. I was completely sedentary. And uh, that's, that's the, uh, the blood sugar reading we got, okay? So it rose from four to five millimole per liter. So that's just a rise of one millimole per liter. And of course, uh, here it was a 72 to uh, 90, yeah, uh, to 90, yeah. So um, what's that? The rise of 18 uh, milligram per deciliter. So, you know, guys, do not be afraid of watermelon. I think that's the lesson here because for a lot of people, they're going to consume uh, less watermelon than I did. And also they're probably going to eat it with something else that will slow down the blood sugar absorption. So the, the point of the matter is please don't be afraid of watermelon. Okay. Uh, yes, your blood sugar will go up, but not astronomically. So that is the point of this very video. So um, hopefully uh, you I uh, benefited, you got some value from this, my end of one experiment. I like doing them. I'm going to do another one at some point uh, because some someone wrote to me to say, oh, Dr. Joe, you haven't done any end of one experiments for a while. So I thought I will do this uh, because it's about verifying some of the uh, the things that uh, people talk about and, you know, people's fears and, and also to, to more or less dispel uh, some of the fears that get, get passed around all over the internet. So anyway, hopefully you got some value from this experiment. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, and also please share this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. If you've got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead, uh, leave your questions or comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed it, also do let me know, okay? Um, I think that's about it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.